Over the last two weeks, we have driven over 2,000 miles on the most epic Baja Peninsula road trip in our van. We started in Arizona and drove all the way to the tip of the Baja Peninsula, and then we have been making our way back up. In the last episode, we made our way to La Jolla Beach Camp in Ensenada, Mexico, just in time to dig a mini hot tub on the beach. Because at low tide, there are hot springs that run under the beach. All you need is a shovel and some time. Today, our last full day in Mexico starts with the search for a hot shower. And then the journey of crossing the border begins to head back to Arizona. Subscribe for new videos every Sunday. We're gonna give you guys a little tour of our campsite. It's yep. actually pretty sweet. The La Jolla, oh, this is locked. Okay, so showers, no showers on this side. I'm like, is there showers anywhere? Okay. Well, that's kind of a bummer. We specifically drove all the way here so we could take showers <laughs> and it appears that they are locked and closed. That's so. not why we drove here. Well, it is not why, but, <laughs> but it we is were hoping one for of, a shower. It was one of the reasons I was looking forward to it. Yeah, but maybe there's showers somewhere else. Let's keep a positive mindset. Yeah, we'll see. We'll keep looking around. So we found another sign that says hot showers this way. So we're gonna go take a look over here, see what we can find. Well, we, we did find some showers and bathrooms. I don't know what you guys think, but that looks a little sketchy to me. So, we'll see. Is there a shower? Hillary, there are showers. They look a little sketchy. I'm okay with sketchy, as long as it's a hot, hot shower. Look, look at this. This looks like it was a an RV that was brought down in the 50s and then they added on to it and it's been here ever since. So good news, we found some showers, but we are quite far away from the van. So if you look, you can just barely see the roof of our van, like right about there. There doesn't seem to be anybody here. There seems to be very, very quiet. There's a couple of people working, but that's it. So let's go check and see if Hillary got the showers hot. Any luck? No luck. It's so cold. I've been checking it for about three or four minutes. Here, fill it. What do you think? Here. Um. I mean, I could, I could, I could do it if I had to. I mean, it's not freezing. Okay, well, there you go. If you come to La Jolla, that's what you get. But you do still get that. I've been in your waters, been knocking at your door. We're gonna try to set up to take a shower. <laughs> That's what I got. Yeah, this place said hot showers. Hot showers. No hot showers. And hot in that, it's hot outside. Yeah, so you're gonna take a shower. Just trying to see if maybe the water gets warm. That is really cold. <laughs> oh my so God. I'm having an allergic reaction to something. I don't know if it's, the sunscreen, suntan lotion, or the, the ocean, the sand, but I gotta get it off my skin somehow. Show me some leg. Woo! Show us some leg, Bobby Bobby. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my goodness. That's annoying. I, apparently I don't know my own strength. So I gotta go get some tools so I can get this off. So take three. <laughs> That's all you need. 
That's it. That's it. Bob's legs are clean. <laughs> His legs and feet are clean. That's all we got. That's all she wrote today. Yeah, that was way too cold. He wanted to take a full shower, but it was so cold he couldn't do it. Major fail. What are you doing? Waiting for my biscuits to finish in the oven on the stove and then uh, we'll eat some pasta and bread. <laughs> Let me check them for you. Ooh. Oh. Oh, nobody look at that. That's real life. This is perfect van life. Okay. finished product. I love how we are way too lazy to set up our actual table that we're just using our our toilet ottoman toilet cover for our table tonight. Hey this is like I don't know what are we at day 10 11 yeah. 12 something yeah. we're just too lazy for that. The behind the scenes realness of van life is most things you don't do because you're just too lazy and tired and tired we've, been, we've traveled like 2200 miles in the last 10 days so a little tired yeah just want to sit and enjoy a good meal oh <laughs> a little, little burnt part there it's fine i don't care about the burn but like they're like circles mm, it's so good the other part to van life um when you do really long trips or you live out of your van probably You'll notice in uh, the first episode, I had makeup on and I had my hair curled. Yeah, that hasn't happened in a long time. <laughs> no makeup, no heat, curling, nothing. We just go with it, right? Yep. No makeup for Bob. All right, so we're gonna call it a night, eat our dinner, finish eating our dinner, call it a night, and tomorrow is a big day for us. Tomorrow? Yep, crossing the border back to the United States. Yep, so see you tomorrow, guys. Good morning, everybody. This is terrible lighting. We're just making coffee, and we're gonna jump on the road and head to the border. We're two hours from the border. Um, we're going to the Tecate, is that how you say it? Tecate? Yep. Border. We haven't done that one. We talked to uh, some locals last night. I mean, they're actually from, actually they're not locals, they're from Palm Springs. <laughs> but they have a house right here at this La Jolla resort or campsite. And they talked to us and said that's a really good border to be able to cross. So yeah, we'll catch you on the road. I see a McDonald's and a Starbucks. I haven't seen a McDonald's and Starbucks in two weeks. I never saw them in Cabo. I know they were probably there, but we didn't see them. Not that we're stopping. Definitely not. Definitely not. But we haven't seen a McDonald's and Starbucks in a long time. The wind is so bad right now. It's blowing us all around on the road. I just looked it up and it looks like it's about 26 miles an hour and it's gonna go all the way up to 36 miles an hour um, in the next hour or so. So we're just trying to quickly get to the border. Hopefully the wind will die down, but I don't even know if it will over there. But Bob's handling the wind and the roads and the potholes and then everything like a boss. Is it hard to drive? 
it's definitely blowing me all over the road. I mean, we're, we're big, we're not that big, but we're tall and we don't have a really wide field base. So it makes it unsettling when the wind's blowing this hard. But we have 15 minutes until we get to the border. more signs. There was one sign that said border crossing so we followed it and there hasn't been another sign since. I just saw one that said border. Okay. Sign, please. Hopefully, I didn't turn back too early. Because I feel like I did. I think you did. I don't. I didn't turn back around. Oh, we went the wrong way. Holy crap. Oh, no. That line is long already. This is gonna take a long time. Probably. Yeah. So that's where we made the mistake. So now we're back on the right road, hopefully going to the line. San Diego border crossing. So do I cross, do I turn here? I guess so. San Diego? Do we want San Diego? Look, those are not lined up, so we could turn left. You want to turn left? Their trucks lined up. Yeah. But they're not. Are they? Just trying to. Just yeah. trying to see. <gasps> it oh, so they don't want to sit on the hill. Which makes sense. So are we cutting? No. Okay. Okay, we're in the right line. I don't know how long this line is though. meters from the entrance. What's that mean? S tell me in English. <laughs> um, we're going to be here for a little while, unfortunately. I almost wonder if people lined up way before 8 a.m. Oh, I'm sure that people were lined up, yeah. Hmm. But somewhere somebody said that they lined up at the, was it the cemetery? Which is like a mile and a half back but we're nowhere near that distance. And we are actually moving forward ever so slightly. 
Bob is hungry. He needs some tortilla chips. And since we have about a 55 minute wait, at least that's what it says online, I'm gonna get him some tortilla chips and then I'm gonna make me some coffee. We're pretty much running out of food. So tortilla chips it is and coffee for me. Watch all of a sudden it starts going fast. Well, I can promise you that that's not happening. <laughs> we have yet to move six inches in the last 10 minutes. Is this gonna work just in this plug? Uh, no, you gotta plug it in down below and you gotta use the inverter. Right. Oh, we need to talk about this. So this is Bob's favorite item of the whole trip, the cheese grater. <laughs> that couldn't be further from the truth. <laughs> he said he's throwing this away when he gets home. It's a little baby cheese grater. He's hated every second of using it. Yeah, there's, that thing is terrible. It, I don't know. <laughs> it just grades so finely that it's just not even worth it. Yep. Oh, oh, we're moving. It's all right. It's all right. Everything's okay. I about fell over. Okay, I got to turn the inverter on. How do we do that? There's a little gray button. A little. And then the green light comes on. Gray button? Yep. Where's it's that? First off, it's a gray box, and then there's a little button on it. Got it. There's a first for everything. <laughs> I've never done this. I've actually not made coffee one time on this trip. That's Bob, sad. Bob. That is sad that you have not made coffee. <laughs> it's not sad. It's Bob making us coffee every morning. Oh, here we go. Ah. Back in my seat with my coffee. So that's the line. Cheers. We're almost done. I'm ready to be back. So we're through, no problemo at all. <laughs> and literally they just checked our passports. They asked if we had anybody in the back. We said no, Yeah. because we don't. But that was it. Um, the line, yeah, the line took about 45 minutes. I was in the, oh. whoa, big bumps when you come through. I mean, we got that generator, so. Yeah, but at this point, oh. we've hit way worse bumps. That's true. And never hit a generator or hit our generator. So yeah, we're through the border. It was smooth, 45 minutes. I finished my coffee and it's time to go home. My goodness, look at these. Yes, we did. We're going to in and out and it's 10.30 a.m. But we're both hungry. Oh, this looks amazing. Well, we did it. We took the last 13 days and traveled the entire Baja Peninsula. We made it. We made it. We're about 10 minutes from our house. I'm so proud of us. I'm so proud of like all the bucket list items that we wanted to hit. We hit them all. And it was a fantastic adventure in this van. Thanks for coming along on this adventure down the Baja Peninsula. And let us know where you'd like to see us go next. Yeah. We need some ideas, guys. I mean, I'm thinking America, maybe Canada, <laughs> like, you know, we want to take this van all over. So leave us a comment. Where do you want to see us go next? And maybe we will pick your spot. If you enjoyed this entire thing, or if this is the first video you're seeing, go back to the first one and watch our adventure of crossing the border and everywhere we went. 
um, this was this is a great series and we really enjoyed bringing you guys a real life look of what it's like to travel in a van all the ups and downs and highs and lows and great things about being stuck in this little teeny space together and hard things about being stuck in this space together and the roads and the potholes and the no shoulders and the beaches and oceans and people we met like yeah just amazing it was a wonderful experience that uh, we planned for over two years yeah. and we did it. We did it. And it was a lot of fun to, to do it with you. Yeah, and we really appreciate you coming along um, this adventure with us. And our hope is to inspire you guys, inspire you, no matter your age and season of life, to go out and explore the world and and see and do the things that you want to do. Well, you know, we aren't promised tomorrow. Um, one thing that always is my why and what drives me is, is losing my mom early on um, in my 30s and just knowing like, and that really, really um, brought it home that we're not promised tomorrow. So it's so important for us to get out and, and just have adventures and explore the world. And anyways, that's all we have. We're tired, we're dirty, we need showers, we need to do laundry, we need to wash the van like so much. Um, we're definitely going to make a video sharing um, all our favorite places of Baja, where you can stay, and different things like that. Once we compile all the facts and stuff, we'll make that video. That'll be coming up. But that's all we have for today, and we're going to go ahead and sign off. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye. Bye.